what's poppin' yo, welcome back to another YouTube video. Today we're taking a look at another three episode limited series on Netflix. It is an anime, and it is called Cabane of the Iron Fortress. And there is two episodes at 25 minutes, and then one episode at 35 minutes. So you can easily watch this within two hours. It is a really good series, and I do recommend that you do go try this out for yourself. Again, it's a short watch, it's on Netflix, and it is really good. It looks quite old, just based around the animation style, but I still think it hits hard, and it is a good watch. It's not long, and it's something different, it's something out there that I recommend that you do try. However, without any further delay, let's uh, quickly shuffle over to see what Google has to say. So, Kabane of the Iron Fortress is a 2016 action with one season, and it has 4.6 out of 5 on Crunchyroll, a 7.3 out of 10 on my anime list, and a 7.2 out of 10 on IMDb. You can watch this on Amazon Prime or Netflix. So when the trains get hijacked by Kabane, and the end to the city, Koma decides to test the weapon he has created to defeat them. However, in the process, gets infected and turns into a Kabane. So how this story uh, goes is basically what google just said but it does continue with a girl being really fucking good and a girl in the anime is really good with weapons really good with guns and she does really unnecessary flips with her rifles and guns which i believe she doesn't need to do and in doing them does get quite a few people killed while she's wasting her time flipping guns but it does look really fucking sick so i do not blame her and she is part human part kabane and that gives her special abilities with like increased strength, increased speed, and also increased agility. And she forms a pretty big relationship with um, our main character, who is basically fighting the government to, you know, get these weapons out there and to stop the Kabane. Kabane are like monsters, basically zombies, which can infect you by biting you and eating you, and they get these trains to bring food and weapons and supplies into the village through these sort of mine shafts. However, the Kabane basically invade these mine shafts, and the girl runs in to go and stop them and ends up dying in the process, and our hero is being tortured by the government because, obviously, in their scans, he's coming up as also part Kabane. So they want to kill him and torture him, and he does go rage mode, and he does start to lose himself and slowly turn into a Kabane as the series does go on. And in the end, he ends up fully turning into a Kabane, and that's just where it leaves off. And it is a really sad ending to the anime. I didn't cry, I'm going to be honest, it wasn't like that sad to make me cry, but it was still a sad ending that I kind of wish our character had a happier ending. The animation style did look like the early like 90s anime style, very similar to like Sailor Moon, early Dragon Ball, early like Pokemon, maybe some early Naruto and One Piece as well. It just looked like very, very old like anime, and... I don't know, I felt like it had some form of like sweet charm to it, like having an anime style like that that we don't really see all that much nowadays. It just had, it was just really nice, really pretty, and really interesting to have an anime style like that show up again, especially in 2016. And again, even if it was a short series, the character designs are really cool, and it still did a really good job at world building. It set up the threat of the Kabane and these monsters and like these zombie esque type characters. It set up the threat of trying to get these trains through and how hard it was and how risky it was. It set up all of this in three episodes and made it all come together so nicely. Every character had a role, and especially in a series as short as this with only three episodes. Each thing that you do has to have meaning. Each thing that you do is not there to fill time. Like, you only have three episodes here. you got to make everything count. And I think they do that really well with everything being so meaningful, so impactful, and them coming full circle, like, constantly coming back to things that have already happened throughout the series. And it felt very good. It felt like you were involved. It felt like you were there. And it just... It was just a really good show, a really good series. I was sort of playing on my phone whilst watching this, I will admit, uh, but that isn't because the series is boring, it's because I had to get something done. Uh, so, you know, uh, it's not the series' fault that I was playing on my phone, so don't take that into, like, you know, consideration when considering watching this. All you gotta do is take my word for it. 
because obviously 98% of you are recurring viewers, but you're not subscribed, so you obviously like my content, you obviously trust what I have to say, so do me a favor and hit that subscribe button down below, will you, just like, it's just a little favor that I'm asking you to do, it isn't hard, it isn't much, uh, just, just make that red subscribe button go gray, just one simple tap, it's free, you can always change your mind later if you do decide I'm a prick and you don't actually like my content, but... Taking my word for it, this anime is really good. It's very detailed. The character designs are really cool and very unique. You could already tell who's a main character just from looking. Like, they have the most fancy outfits compared to the regular soldiers and the regular people in the masks. And obviously the Kabane stand out as well with their glowing orange sort of veins and glowing red eyes. A glowing, like, yellow mouths as well. They kind of seemed like stone magma lava creatures with like the inner light shining out of them so bright it just made the nighttime scenes so much better and it did like this big contrast because most of them fought at night most of the action sequences were at night and it just made the glow of the cabane stand out so much more and it looked really fucking cool and really badass when they were fighting and f flying flipping around again they fought these Kabane like they were Levi from Attack on Titan and it just looked so clean the fight scenes were so well done and like we have our main characters like our main three taking out as many Kabane as they can in like the shortest amount of time and it's just so cool watching them all fight and watching them all go up against each other but we do have quite a lot of loss in the anime with um obviously setting the stage setting the scene setting this world up we have some of like background characters getting eaten and dying in the first like couple of minutes of the episode just to show the threat just to throw the scale uh out there so you know what to expect from the rest of the series and that's what i like it, it basically did a suicide squad and threw out the first couple of kills there so you can sort of see how things work see, see how things are gonna go and basically just set up the threat to the movie and anime it's it's just really good Sometimes that trope is quite boring and quite redundant and you can see it coming. However, I did not expect it to happen so soon into the anime. I didn't expect them to throw like the Suicide Squad trope in. And when they did, I was really quite shocked because like the first couple of minutes of this thing, you are seeing like a couple of people on a train and they get attacked by Kabane, they get eaten and it gets fucking wrecked. And it's very, very quick. It's very, very sudden. But it has a huge impact on like the rest of the series because it sets it up so nicely. So even though it is to set the stage, it has a long-lasting effect compared to in Suicide Squad or stuff like Suicide Squad, where the starting kill doesn't really have any long-lasting effects. Like They don't need that character for the rest of the show. They don't need anything from this character. They kill them off just to keep the others in check and show them that they can't step out of line. However, in this one them dying is like the catalyst that sets off a massive chain reaction for the rest of the series to take place and that's why i think it is so much better than the suicide squad tropes that we see in other movies i am going to give this anime a solid 8 out of 10 i don't think it's perfect but i don't think it's that bad especially when they only have three episodes to tell a story so again i do recommend you go check this show out on netflix it is really interesting really cool and quite badass as well especially the main character he is my favorite just slowly watching him turn into a cabane and watching like the government and the army treat him so awfully and then watching him turn into like an absolute badass at the end before he dies is so fucking clean it is like one of the one of the best scenes in the entire movie. However, if you do want more from me, you can go check out the link in the description, which will take you to everything else that I have to offer as a content creator, from my Instagram to my TikTok to my Facebook, Snapchat, Cameo, Reddit, and everything else like that. Everything that I have to offer is on there, so go check it out, see what like spikes your interest, just in case. And um, if you do want me to review any other animes, movies, TV shows, please also leave that down in the comments below. Please just leave the title of whatever you want me to watch, and I'll watch it as soon as possible. But please do remember, I will obviously acknowledge your comment, and I'll tell you that it's coming soon. But again, I do plan my videos, like, months in advance, so... I watched this, like, back in July, and this video is probably coming out in September, so just remember, it's, like, a good three months in the future, so just please be patient with me, please bear with me, I am very big at planning ahead, so I'll see you all in the next one, bye-bye.
you do realize you just wasted your time waiting to the end. There is nothing special at the end of this video. It is literally just the end of the video and it will just cut off. And I don't know why you always expect something to be at the end of these videos. That there isn't going to be something like every video. So I, I hope you realize that. Like, I, I don't put something at, at the end of every video. It's just a couple of them just to see if you're intrigued and want to stay till the end. But you just wasted your time here.